Hello, celebrity megastar and viral sensation. Celebrity Christopher and Angelic celebrity Penelope Fountain going around the globe and every single nation. It is approximately 11.53 a.m. April 11th, 2020. And I'm not going to lie to you. It gets really good, this video. So I'm shooting a video of what all the people are hoarding in Walmart. I buy my one meal a day. Well, yeah, at Walmart. I buy a meal at a time. Okay? I go in there. I identify all of the cheap items gone. And I also knew by shopping at different Walmarts that there are different prices for the same exact items at different Walmarts. Now, I think it's funny. Now, this Walmart where I'm at on Pawnee and Broadway is in the poverty-stricken ghetto of Wichita, Kansas. Pawnee and Broadway, Walmart, is in the poverty-stricken ghetto of Wichita, Kansas. Now, I identified the cost of the syrup, four pancakes, I'm not lying to you, $1.33 for the smallest bottle you can buy. That's Walmart brand. But if you go over to the other Walmart on Dugan Road in Wichita, Kansas, you can find the same exact syrup sized bottle for 98 cents, which I love it. I'm going to tell you how much the chocolate milk is in a half a gallon. It is 95 cents for a half a gallon of chocolate milk and these poverty stricken trash are buying it all up here on Pawnee and Broadway for, I'm not lying to you, a dollar. Hold on. Hold on. A dollar nineteen plus tax. So Walmart knows that there are people shopping with food stamps, so they're charging them more. There's no doubt in my mind about it. Okay? And after all of this hoarding got done of the eggs, the milk, the toilet paper, which you can buy anywhere. Believe me when I tell you this. I've been all over the country, and I have been all over the city of Can Wichita, Kansas. Okay? So I know exactly what I'm talking about. But make no mistake. The chocolate milk is sold out. The cheap, gigantic bags of cereal are all taken out of the shelves. Sold out. All of the ramen noodle soup is sold out. Now, you can buy a bag of ramen noodle soup, one package, for 22 cents. They used to be 15 or 18 cents. Now, the prices have been driven sky high. It's only going to get a lot worse unless you identify at this time how to take care of yourself in a bad economy like I know how to. Now, even though I'm not an expert at economics... The last economy crash, I did fairly well. Literally. So here we are. We are going into a great depression like no one has ever seen before. And the cost of gold and everything is just going to go through the roof. So hoarding is okay if you are paying for it with cash. Then you can justify it. And I'm telling you, when I say paying for it with cash, I know for a fact that people are selling food stamps so they can buy their drugs and alcohol, which is a crime. I do not condone criminal activity. I do not incite or promote criminal activity in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, after I got done shooting my previous video, in Walmart of the empty shelves today 
I literally found a couple shoppers at the register of the Pawnee and Broadway Walmart. The cashier was named Alice. And Alice, what she did was completely, totally incompetent. Now, I don't know if you've seen that movie, Casino, I think it was, with Robert De Niro. But, um, it was a very good movie that I've seen in the past. Now, when they put the losing machines, I think... Hold on, let me rephrase this. Someone kept on winning jackpots on their winning gambling machines in the movie Casino. And Robert De Niro got mad because it was the governor's grandson, I think, or son, I believe, in that movie. And he deliberately allowed them to keep winning by not doing anything about it. So here I am at Pawnee and Broadway Walmart. Alice checked out these two women. Now, they thought it was funny because they cut me off. It's fine. They got a million groceries, okay? Then the mom, they start yelling, Mom, Mom, come here. And then she comes up when I'm about ready to put my stuff on the conveyor belt and ring up my groceries next. The mom comes up and throws a bunch more groceries on her, the conveyor belt, so that her daughter can ring it up at the same time and cut me off even more. I think it's total fucking bullshit and inconsiderate cocksucking bullshit, if you really want to know cocksucking bullshit so um here we go and these two bitches like they were greedy they were hoarding they they didn't give a shit how long I had to wait in line to ring up my groceries which I had only about five or six items only but they thought it was humorous when they made me waiting even longer no problem the coca-cola and the sun kissed was at the bottom of the basket. They tried to deliberately take the groceries that Alice begged up and they put it back into the shopping cart when meanwhile they did not take out all of their groceries and put it on the conveyor belt to be rung up to begin with. This is another form of theft that I just caught today. I called the manager Victor or Vincent, I believe his name was, one of them, in the Pawnee and Broadway Walmart to tell on Alice because she is actually incompetent. She almost allowed them to walk out of the store with two 12 packs of drinks, okay, and they're very expensive, over nine bucks for both of them total, and another bottle of gigantic laundry detergent, which was over 15. So that's over $25 in groceries that these two customers almost got away with by not paying for. And by the way, no one at any Walmart is checking receipts because by law, most people don't even want to give their receipt to a, a minimum wage worker on the way out of Walmart. So that's a real bad problem in case you don't know. But, um, the truth of the matter is, they're stealing groceries right in front of the cashier. And the cashier is too oblivious to ring them up or catch it. I did call the Pawnee and Broadway Walmart today. And I did tell, on the, man tell the manager on Alice to let them know the mistake that she's making. It's probably costing consumers millions if not billions of dollars a year thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please call me at 316-200-0753 or 954-309-3210 thank you i caught another scumbag thief in walmart before oh and by the way before they got out of the store and before they walked away, I told Alice, you get a, you got to ring them up for the Cokes, the 12 packs, and the laundry detergent. Oh my God, I'm telling you, it was great, it was powerful. They got caught in the act. Alice yelled at them to come back. 
she made them pay for it. But you know, honestly, why should I have to tell a cashier at Walmart what they're not ringing up? You know, it's complete nonsense if you ask me. Now, I buy my sandwich meat. I feed the birds like I regularly do. I feed the ducks. I love all animals, including the bat, which I believe the coronavirus came from. So here's to a good meal, not animals. I hope and I pray that one day we do go to war with China. I'm tired of their fucking bullshit. Eating dogs and eating cats is unacceptable in my book and it's reason enough to go to war with them for not changing their habit. They caused, in my opinion, this biological warfare to hit America. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am a uh, complete, a complete uh, doomsdayer. Actually, no, I'm not. But I am prepared. And I'm getting more and more prepared daily. I'm ready for the bad economy. I'm ready for everything. But you know what? The thieves are not ready for me. Thank you for watching this video. I did tell on another thief today at Walmart, and it feels really good. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Eat my lunch, turkey and cheese, under five bucks for everything. I got two loaves of bread, and I'll feed the other loaf to the birds. Thank you for watching.